How's it going, everybody? I'm Jeff Slakey, and I'm in the community at the Shelton Athletic Club. I want to find out what's going on in there for the COVID precautions and how things are going. This In the Community segment is brought to you by Maples Excavating at 463-8474. Make sure you talk to Shane about all the excavating needs you may have. Let's go in and see what Randy Smith has to say here at the Shelton Athletic Club. So we're going to see what's going on here. Randy, how are you doing? Hi, everybody! So Randy, Come on, welcome, welcome. Randy on Smith in. here from the Shelton Athletic Club. We got hand sanitizers right here for you. Okay, so we got to do our hand sanitizer, get that going. I'll show you what else we got going Masks on. Masks required, of course. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. How about you, well, my friend? Good to see you. Good to see you. So have you ever been in here before? This will be my first time now that it's all been taken over and looking fresh and sharp. So we got a lot to talk about. Yeah. First things I want to talk yeah. about first is obviously we did our hand sanitizer, saw the sign with the mask. Everybody's got their masks on as they move from gym equipment to gym equipment. Is that yep. right? Yep. Okay. But when you come in, we always chat with you. You got to sign up for appointment. We ask you those questions when we, well, we got this thing here. It's a fogger. It kills the germs. It sticks to everything. Oh, wow. You, we issue a spray bottle. Okay. And tell. This is Chet. Hey, my, Chet. How are you? My handyman. Good I'm to see you. Very valuable employee. We issue a towel, so when you're done with something, you can spray it off. Do you want me to show you around? Yeah, let's walk around here and so, see where you um, want to start. You guys know we got racquetball? The I lights are on sensor. You can walk in there and the light will just turn right on. And walk. people are able to play and everything? Um, well, it's one at a time right now. But. Okay. So you just get some practice in? Yeah, you can practice. Unless you're a family. There is families that come down and play. Um, I mean, it's a really fun game if you never play. It's something, yeah. you know, we have two racquetball courts. Well, I'm reminded of, you know, John Candy and Splash. You know, they had that yes, great yes, racquetball yes. scene there. Yeah. So, we, all, we got all kinds of stuff here anymore. Have you had to move things around a lot because of this? Or uh, is no, it just we, the we, spacing? We, got, we just tell everybody to do social distancing. And if people are worried about it, we, you can check out. We got little pieces of paper that you can oh, throw okay. on to keep your machine. And but, I think normally people want to be a little yeah, Everybody's out. really, really knowledgeable about social distancing anymore oh, yeah. so you know oh, we yeah. just kind of monitor it but there's I, some rolling machines back there and the jacob's ladder yeah so we hand these out oh okay you so if you want okay so, you, so they're closed you could just if you want that machine you could put one on each side and shut them down so these are nice uh machines pre-core right yeah you know, yeah pre-core is the best there's no getting around i got some that actually have wi-fi where you can i'll show you you can you can pick trails no. to go on. Um, you can surf the net. You can look at iFiber hey, on the treadmill if you I want like to. I like this guy. I like this. So see, this. we got spray bottles everywhere and yeah, hand yeah. sanitizers. Okay. And if you want to shoot hoops, we can. That's about the, that's about my skill. Yeah, the, ki right the there. kids really like that. That's about all I can get to. So somebody could come here. I mean, this is. If somebody can come here and get a full body workout. Oh, we got, we got everything, man. Everything you need. Yeah, you see how people clean them all the time. Sure. If you don't know how something works, you can take your smartphone. Uh -huh. I've ever showed you that. And it'll pop up on the screen. It'll, yeah, if it's like you're going to take a picture. Yeah. And you, you just upgraded a lot of this stuff all before this, all this stuff. everything happened, right? before right? COVID. Yeah, I bought all brand new equipment. There's stair steppers over here. A lot of people like that because they're quick, hard workout. Oh, yeah. So these things are air scrubbers, UV lighting. So when it, when it circulates it kills all the bacteria and the germs in it so throughout the building so you used to be open uh 24 7 right Is we that... can be open 24 7 again by appointment okay so right now you have to make an appointment and we kind of chat with you about it yeah a little bit so during the shutdown we took advantage of kept the employees working right we took advantage we repainted we've reorganized we've done a lot we redid the pool you should see that it's oh, beautiful yeah so we I wasn't quite sure what to what to wear today. I almost work brought out? my short shorts and my you tank top. You want to work top. out? My wife advised the, against that. <laughs> she said nobody wants to see that. So okay, this this free weight area is uh, is really turned out. This some of these hammer strength here, people really like them. I actually went to some auctions and some of the gyms that fortunately didn't make it. Oh yeah. And upgraded some of the stuff that we have uh, here. So. I just want people to get what they want. I mean, talk you know? to me a little bit about this, the gym industry over the last year. What would you say, oh, just the, half at least, more? Oh, yeah, so fortunately, there's a lot of these faithful members that have paid to get me through this. I'm gonna give back to each and every one of them. So if you paid through COVID, I bought new scan cards. We got those little scan cards, you know, to get you in and yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm giving every one of those guys that paid a gold membership. They're going into the thing as a gold. Their, their rates will never change. And I'll be able to do drawings to give them. That's great. Um, the surprise in the back. And, oh, you got and it. That's right. There is the a surprise. surprise. And uh, free parking. And I'll go downtown to local businesses and buy gift cards and give these people a bag. Because they've really. I they, mean, they got us through this. Hopefully, we're on the stage of working through it yeah. so we can rebuild. I hope so. But we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. So talk to me about the staff you have here to help out others. You, you have Chet. And yeah, Chet, Charlotte, Charlotte. Marlo. Okay. Um, we're starting some of the personal training. People are coming back. Uh, charities coming back. Cool. So, I mean, anything, if you need any assistance, and whoever's at the desk will, will help you. So then the other thing I want to see about is just kind of what's happening right now. So we got one, two, three people down here. We got one or two up there. Is that kind of how it is these days? Right, or? yeah, you, everybody's used to doing social distancing, so, <laughs> except for that guy. As used as they can. <laughs> so this um, is a great pool. Yeah, I had it all resurfaced during the shutdown, new tile. Um, you know, it's really beautiful. I rebuilt this as well. The shower uh, got rebuilt, so we were busy over the shutdown. Yeah, you well, got a steam room behind you. I'd open it, but it'd fog you yeah, up yeah, bad. bad. So you're saying one person in the steam room? One person there. One, one two people in there. Okay, two people just, in there. I tell everybody to so one person in the hut. You guys just got to do social distancing. Yeah, yeah. And I think too, when it comes to gyms and working out, it's kind of a private thing in general, unless you have yeah. a trainer. So yeah. You, you, you fogging up? You want me to get out of here? Yeah. No. You. Well, either way. There's Charlotte, one of our valued employees, doing a, something. She is a fantastic employee, a really good instructor. Can't wait to get back to be able to do some classes. But she'd be available for a personal training. You bet. So there's a there is a lot here, and and as yeah. we've seen that it is nice and spaced out just in yeah. general. Yeah. You got a a quiet area. If it's busy downstairs, you got all this equipment you need up here to do. And people have really fell in love with this area because a lot of times you're just here by yourself. I bet, yeah. Well, that's just great that the for the folks that stuck with you. I mean, oh, it's what? amazing. It's amazing. A lot, you know, of, a lot of people. I'm were... in debt to those people. They, they don't. A lot of them know how I am. I'm a pretty touchy guy. Got a couple more restrooms here. Uh huh. Um, there's a gal that cuts hair in here. If you'd like to meet her. Is she in there? Sure. Oh, it's unlocked. Hi. Would you uh, be okay with the yeah. with yeah. the visit Come in? On. This this is Camion. Well, we're getting a little extra bonus here today. <laughs> yeah. Hi. How's it going? I'm Jeff, and I'm walking around checking this place out. I'm Camion. How are you? Good. Good. How long have you been up in this space? About eighteen years. Eighteen years. That's great. That's fun, Randy. It's it is kind of it, like family here. It is family. So behind this wall, there's a massage therapist. Okay. Well, we should have started the tour there. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, I also got tanning up here. We got a couple of tanning oh, beds. Yeah. It's more of a luxury. Still all part, uh, you know, what you clean yeah, them off. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got everything. So, yeah, she's got a nice little spot there if you want to see it, Roddy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Shows her. Take a look. She's in giving a massage, it looks like. Oh, well, well, we'll let her have that private time then. Yeah. So. Cool. And I think for a lot of folks, obviously, there's the concern about safety, safety yeah. and distance and stuff. But. It's clear that you've done a lot to address all the concerns. I want you to come in and be able to grab a spray bottle and feel comfortable. And just go. Yeah, just do your thing. Uh, make an appointment and come on in. Yeah. Cool. Well, what else can you show me here? Um, I got a little surprise here in the back. I'd like to see this. Yeah. This is Louise. He's putting a smoothie bar in, everybody. So this is a brand new thing, huh? You know, it's amazing, Randy, how many little nooks and crannies yeah, you have in this, this place. This is a big building, you know. And then we got the property over there that yeah. we're going to throw dodgeballs at you guys. That's right. I, well, that's Rod's, that's his department, I think. So we're outside now on what, at one point, what, 15 years ago was the old uh, bowling alley yeah, in town. Yeah, the only bowling alley in town. Now. But after that burnt down, it was kind of just an open lot for a long time. And then yeah. in the last few years or so, yeah. right, you picked it up and, and really have done some nice things here. What are you, what's the plans? Well, we're excited to, uh, I got to give a shout out to the guys that are helping me. Jason Howerton and Chad Johnson came in um, to build. Jason spent all this time building us. They want to do a wiffle yeah. baseball and kickball here. And then you've got these other things. These are right. like. Yeah, I, I had a bunch of weight equipment out here at one time, but uh, 
I don't know. I just, you know, a couple tires to flip, and I got some sledgehammers you can slam in there. How heavy is this tire? How you can flip it. I'm going to try it. You yeah. tell me first. Come on. I don't know. It's got, well, so it's got water in it, so it's a little heavier, I think right? I can do it with one arm. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, my God. So, <sighs> no so like problem. What sort of a training yeah, would you? I, roll, I just roll it. <laughs> what kind of training am I doing? Is this cross? Yeah, you do that up there and back, and they'll no, talk to me when you're done. I don't think so. There's actually the guy has a record right now. He flopped it all the way around the track. Oh my god! One time, and man, he was beat. But he goes, I challenge somebody to break that. Well, so I'm not going to break that today. No, nobody has yet. Well, as you can see here at the Shelton Athletic Club in downtown Shelton, all the precautions have been taken to make sure that your workouts are safe and that you are safe here at the Shelton Athletic Club with Randy. So please get in touch with him. What's the phone number? 426, well, 360-426-1388. And we'll put the website link here as well for folks to check out. Memberships are happening now, and yep. uh, you call in and make your appointments, and yep. you can still use all the great equipment, and it's all available here as we're uh, in the community at the Shelton Athletic Club.